13 and 13 together. This is a scheme to assist first-time purchasers with the deposit they need to buy or build a new house or apartment. The incentives gives a refund of income tax and deposit interest retention tax dirt paid into the state over the previous four years, subject to certain limits. The scheme was enhanced in 2020 as part of the July stimulus, and in the Finance Act of 2020, the enhanced arrangements were extended until the end of this year. Following a commitment in the Housing for All strategy, my department carried out a review of the scheme as part of its tax strategy group deliberations. The resulting paper has been published last week and is available on the government website. In the coming weeks, in the run-up to the budget, I'll be taking stock of where matters stand and taking decisions in relation to help to buy, having regard to a number of elements, including the overall policy context in which the scheme operates and my department's deliberations are set out in the recent tax strategy group paper. Thank you. Minister, I come from a different perspective in relation to this, and I've had the opportunity to read the review of the Help to Buy scheme, and I see from there that it has cost four times what was anticipated, more than four times. And for this year alone, it's going to cost 177 million. And it was introduced as a temporary scheme. It was announced in 16, came into an operation in 17, and as you said, was enhanced later. And it was always envisaged to be temporary. And when I look at the review of the Help to Buy scheme, and you talk about the options, there were actually five options mentioned it. One of them that it would apply to derelict property, which wasn't given much priority, which I, I'm pleased to, to agree with. But they talked about either phasing it out this year, if ending it this year, keeping it for another two years, keeping it going back to the way it was before you enhanced it, or else taper it out. So you also point out that there's been no formal review since over three years ago. So perhaps you might comment on some of that. Thank Minister. you. Uh, thanks. Oh, deputies, uh, so if I may begin just with Deputy uh, Connolly, uh, the value of the uh, tax strategy group paper is it does lay out different options that the government can consider in the run-up to the budget. Uh, and uh, at this point, uh, it, I cannot uh, indicate the future of the scheme because the government has not made a decision in relation to it and it will be made on budget day. Uh, I do know what the TSG papers did say, though, uh, about the need for a perhaps more fundamental review of the scheme uh, because it, it has been enhanced. Uh, it is now costing more uh, than it has been in recent years. That in turn is because more home buyers are using it uh, and more homes have been built. And I am aware, Deputy Smith, of the value of the scheme and the constituents who are raising this issue with you. I do believe this scheme has played a valuable role in allowing and encouraging more homes to be built. And I'll weigh up all these views in the run up to the budget. Thank you. Concerned with your answer and in the sense that I would like it confirmed that there will be a formal review of this that hasn't been carried out in three years and if you're going to extend it certainly that there would be a formal review secondly it's been pointed out by the esri and social justice that it has contributed to the um, house prices and it's also been pointed out that 40 percent of the first-time buyers making a claim already had a deposit and what's even more interesting now is the fact that you said that more people are doing it and that's why it's four times more expensive cost which is actually not accurate when you look at the paper, so if I just take 2020 and 2019, there were 6,713 applicants in 2019 and it cost 102 million. The following year there were less in 2020 and it cost more. So please explain that to me now. And that's just one example where there are less applicants, 6,227, and it's costing more. And it's more than four times the original estimate for a temporary measure. In a, and indeed, as being pointed out in the policy document, there is now a change in policy again, and there are many other schemes to help first-time sure. buyers. So it really needs a serious reconsideration. The reason why fewer purchases happened is because of how long our economy was locked down in 2020. So there were fewer opportunities for homes to be bought than there would have been in the previous year. The reason why the cost went up, Deputy, is because, of course, in the middle of the year, we enhanced the scheme. So that's the reason why. Um, in relation to the point that Deputy uh, Smith made, as I said a moment ago, uh, it would be um, well aware of the importance of the scheme. 
And if the deputy is concerned, Deputy Connolly, about the answer I gave, she'd even be more concerned if I indicated the budget day decision three weeks before the budget. All these matters will be dealt with on that day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh